Right, so Master Trainers in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. On the surface, they sound like something no one would ever, ever want to do. It sounds like such a massive slug. Having to train up each individual Pokemon to, say, level 80 to be able to take down each Master Trainer just sounds so cumbersome, so tiresome. But I have found a strategy, I have found a method to make these Master Trainers incredibly easy and able to be defeated with Pokemon in the mid-20s, in the mid-level 20s. We are going to demonstrate this method with our shiny Growlithe, which we shiny hunted for last night. It is only level 20. There is one requirement and that is to max out its awakened values. We did that by feeding it 200 Growlithe candy, so it's got 200 in all of its stats. I presume they've introduced awakening values the way that they have so it makes master trainers so so easy just for the purpose of this video we've also taught Growlithe reflect toxic and dig depending on which master trainer you are going to be taking on it may require a little bit of a strategy to counter the move sets that the master trainers have for example Growlithe's master trainer is here on route 7 it has the moves dig toxic and reflect so we're going to have to counter its Reflect with our Reflect just to be able to take it on. But you are going to be able to defeat any Master Trainer in the game with much lower Pokemon. Much lower leveled Pokemon. And I'm going to demonstrate that in this video. So Austin's going to send out his Growlithe. Our Growlithe, despite only being level 24, should easily manage to outspeed this. Let's show you. So we're going to put a reflect up first just so its digs aren't going to do as much damage. He also uses reflect. We are going to use toxic. Now toxic is a tremendous strategy in this as all you're going to have to do is survive 8 turns and then the opposition's Pokemon is going to faint. But that's not the strategy we're going to go with. It's use dig, so we're going to dig, so we can't hit us. And then we are going to hit it first on this turn, so we do damage to us. Now, even if it uses Toxic now, we're going to defeat it sooner. We're going to have defeated this Growlithe before the Toxic damage gets us. So, not an issue. Now, basically, all we need to do is just well we're going to outspeed it so there's no point really using dig we'll use takedown to see how much it does i know it's going to do a little bit of recall damage which is going to be silly it's going to dig so this turn what we are going to do and both of our reflects wear off this turn we are going to dig because that will make it so this growlithe doesn't hit us and using a level 25 growlithe we have defeated this level 70 Growlithe Master Trainer right there. Incredibly easy. Love this strategy. Love awakened values in Pokemon. Let's go Pikachu. Let's go Eevee. This isn't the first time I've done this. Uh, this is exactly the same way I defeated the Nidoran male, Nidorino and Nido King Master Trainers with much lower leveled Pokemon. Need around male in particular, I was only like level 30 and it was incredibly easy to defeat the need around male master trainer using that. Now we are going to evolve our Growlithe, I'm going to miss this boy, and we are going to take on the Arcanine master trainer. I'll be two seconds. Right, so here we are in the Cedadon City, I believe it's the hotel. Uh, right where the Arcanine Master Trainer is, I'm going to really miss my shiny Growlithe following me around, but it's going to be so cool to see the trainer riding around on a shiny Arcanine. Now, we are going to take on the Arcanine Master Trainer with a level 25 Arcanine. The key to beating any Master Trainer in this game is simply to max out your Pokemon's Awakened values. Literally, that is all you're going to need to do. Now, we are going to teach this... Uh, okay, we're not going to teach it Earthquake. I thought you learned Earthquake, but apparently you do not. So we are going to take him on uh, with our Arcanine. Let's do this. We're just going to use the same strategy we did before. We'll put a Reflect up and then we'll use Dig or Toxic after. And then we'll easily be able to take him down with a level 25 Arcanine, which is just insane. I, it's crazy that this method actually works. So it's Shiny Arcanine. Here we go. I'm probably not going to lie, soft reset after this because I didn't get my Arcanine all of its attacks. I didn't get Flare Blitz on this Arcanine, for example, and I want to use this competitively, but we're going to put a Reflect up first. We are going to outspeed it. 
He's going to use his Reflect, we're going to Toxic, and then we are going to be able to stall out the rest of this battle. Facade is quite smart, admittedly, but that's okay, we are going to dig. Uh, he's doing a bit more damage. Going to avoid the Hyper Beam. Dig isn't going to do much because of the Reflect that is up right now. My predicted us with the Hyper Beam. Well played, well played. It's doing more damage than us so far, but that's because Poison hasn't really kicked in. Using this method, you're going to be able to defeat any Master Trainer in the game, which is just insane. The key to defeating Master Trainers, I'm going to repeat for the third time in this video. He gets a crit? Not even a crit. Oh, it's because Reflect was down. Key to this, and as I've, I've repeated three times, Max out your awakened values. That's all that matters with master trainer battles in this game. So there we go. We get the title of being an Arcanine Master. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you have, a like would be really, really appreciated. Uh, dislike this video if you didn't find it helpful or entertaining. Tell me what you want me to do to improve my videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Subscribe so you don't miss it. Yeah, thank you for watching. Peace out.